But I think there's also a disconnect between free services that one might say are fueled by your personal data and paid services. And I think just fast forward from a bottoms up approach is what's happening in the individual state level from the rollback of the FCC privacy. And so you see this revolt in effectively happening and gonna steamroll. And I, I, I am gonna suggest that it's gonna be more cumbersome for ISPs to have to navigate individual state laws, but they some, somewhat made their, their bed here. Um, it's gonna turn into what data, the data breach of 46, a patchwork of 46 or 47 different states. And so again, what's happening is consumers are alarmed that they're paying for their ISPs where they have little choice and now the ISPs have effectively free reign to collect and share their data. And so I think that is an area where you're seeing a grassroots element. And clearly on the town halls, it's clearly an area uh, you see some people on the R side of the equation that are now having to try to address that. So um, it'll be interesting to see where we are. I know California is moving very fast in there. And for the record, we support um, their efforts. I'm sure there's some people who have different views here, but again, it's about giving consumers right and control on the collection and usage and selling of their data, and clearly in an area where you're already paying for the service with your credit card, I don't believe that you should be paying it in perpetuity with your personal data.